With DebDeb being a new star system that will be added to KSP2 eventually, a new planet called Gurdama has been introduced. It has been called a proto kerbin with rings. So proto refers to the fact that the planet has formed relatively recently on a cosmic scale and after a heavy bombardment during its formation has cooled down and has formed some kind of seas or oceans. The cool thing about Gurdama is the fact that you will be able to see its rings quite easily from the surface which I'm really looking forward to. Also located within these rings we can find a moon called Donk. As I have stated in some of my previous videos, planetary rings can form due to a moon-like object getting too close to the parent planet so that it will get ripped apart by tidal forces. So when looking at this system, I was curious, why is Donk not being ripped apart by Gurdama? The distance from a planet where a moon-like object gets ripped apart is called the Roche limit and it can be approximated by this equation. As you can see, the limit depends on the density of the moon-like object. The higher the density of this moon, the smaller this distance gets. Thus, the closer it can get before getting ripped apart. If we rewrite this equation, we will have an expression of the minimal density a moon must have at a certain distance if it wants to stay intact. We can make a nice plot out of this expression to get this. So here on the y-axis we have the distance to the center of the planet in terms of the radius of that planet. And you can see it starts at 1 because no moons will be within the radius of the planet. Otherwise that would mean the moon is inside of the planet. On the y-axis we have the minimal or critical density of the moon as a ratio with respect to the density of Gurdama. As you can see the farther you go from the planet the less dense the moon has to be to stay in one piece. Now we want to determine what Donk's density has to be to stay intact using this information. If we know at what distance it finds itself, then we know what its minimum density should be according to this approximation. If the density were lower, it would get ripped apart and thus no Donk. I couldn't find any good quality images of both Gurdama and Donk in frame, so we will have to go with this frame of the computer screen of some developer in a dev video. We can measure the distance of Donk to the center of Gurdama in terms of the radius of the planet. If we draw that right here, we will find that Donk is at a distance of about 2.5 Gurdama radii. When we look at the plot, we see that this means that Donk must have a density greater than 0.93 times the density of Gurdama. I have to point out that everything in the Kerbal Universe is about 10 times as dense as things should be. So to determine the composition of things, I just divide the density given in the game by 10 to get the value that it represents in real life. We can assume that the planet Gurdama has around the same density as Kerbin as it is a proto -Kerbin. That would mean that Donk should at least have a density of 54,000 kg per cubic meter. Divide that by 10 and we get a density that is very close to that of Earth. All in all this means that Donk and Gurdama are likely to be made of the same rocky stuff. To conclude, Donk can realistically stay intact in orbit around Gurdama as a rocky moon. Then you might ask, how did the rings themselves form? Well, the developers explained in a video that Gurdama has recently been hit by a planetoid that is now Donk. And because of that collision, a lot of leftover debris formed a ring around the planet. As Donk orbits Gurdama, it cleans up a lane for itself, creating this gap here. I have some other videos where I inspect rings in KSP, so you can watch those next. Please consider liking if you want me to make more videos, and I will see you next time.